Hello, my name is Frank Everett, and welcome to Frank's Files. Hi there, welcome once again to my home. Thank you very much for tuning in. I am still working from home, as I'm sure many of you are too. And today, I'm looking at a lot of beautiful jewels online. We have a wonderful sale of important jewels coming online June 10th. The bidding will close on June 16th. And right now, I'm working with a client who's looking specifically for a bracelet. So I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorites. Bracelets are great, and she said this to me today. She really wants something that she can look at. You know, earrings and necklaces, sometimes you put them on and you forget about them because you don't see them. But a bracelet, you can enjoy enjoy all day long while you're working from home, whatever you're doing. So let's look at a couple of beauties. Lot two, first of all, is one of my all-time favorite designs. This is by Verdura. This is the famous double crescent design. Beautiful interlocking C gold links all the way around. It's a link bracelet, but it kind of fits like a cuff. And then two beautiful interlocking Cs on the top, fully paved in diamonds. The design inspired by Diana, Roman goddess of the hunt, but also worn by another famous Diana. This was famously photographed on Diana, Princess of Wales, on one of her trips to New York City. So double Diana, double crescent, fabulous bracelet. Next, we're gonna go on to pair. I kind of cheated here. Lots six and seven together. Beautiful pair of Pioné bangles by Jean Schlumberger for Tiffany & Company. This design was first done in 1962, often called the Jackie bangles because Jackie Kennedy wore them all the time. But her friend, Mrs. Paul Mellon, Bunny Mellon, gave her her first one. So I like to think of them as the Bunny Mellon bracelets as well as the Jackie bangles. The Pioné enamel technique uses gold foil under the enamel, so it gives it a richness of color and also some texture and depth. So I just love that. These are the big versions, all studded with diamonds, and these are very special rare colors. I love them. I hope they stay together. I think somebody should bid on both. Now, let's go to Italy. Bulgari, lot 33. This bangle is so much fun. It's really like a party for the wrist. I don't think they left any stone unturned, literally. I see diamonds, I see sapphires, both yellow and blue, pink tourmalines, peridot, all set in gold. This has just that really chunky sort of late 70s, 80s look to it. And I just think this is a happy, fun piece of jewelry with so much sparkle, so much dazzle, great for summertime. We're gonna take a look at lot 44. This bracelet by Cartier is probably my favorite thing in the entire sale. Circa 1932, made by Cartier Paris. Rows of beautiful polished fluted coral beads, the most gorgeous color coral. Absolutely impeccable condition, almost 100 years after the piece was made. But in addition to the design, the provenance is wonderful. This comes from the collection of Madame Ganna Walska, who famously sold her jewels in the 70s to fund the building of Lotus Land, her gorgeous garden in Santa Barbara. And if you haven't been, put it on your list to go someday. It's spectacular. And part of the proceeds from the sale of this bracelet will benefit Lotus Land. So make sure you go to the overview page, take a look at this wonderful article on Madame Walska and her collection and her history, and you'll know more about the bracelet too. Now, we're gonna finish up with Van Cleef and Arpels. Lot 88 is one of the prettiest, most feminine, light, airy bracelets I've ever seen. It really just looks like bows tied with lace made of gold and diamonds. It does have a nice volume when you put it on the wrist, but still maintains that lightness, and I think it's a very special piece from the 1940s, and it's a perfect sort of signature thing. It's a unique look, and uh, I absolutely love it. So there are some of my favorites. I hope you find some others that you like as well. Again, bidding opens on June 10th, running through June 16th, and I will see you again very, very soon. So stay well and thanks again.